in nine minutes, the Rick Astley himself, the man, the myth, the legend. He's going to be joining us on stream, okay? Um, we're going to be playing this game here. It's called Solar Punk Simulator. It's a Roblox charity game. Basically, how it works is all the Robux that you spend in the game, it goes to charity. It goes to uh, Kids Relief, which is this charity right here. Uh, here's the uh, here's the group. There it is. And uh, let's see. Here's here's their Twitter account as well. So um, all the all the Robux you spend on the in the game goes towards that. Of course, we're gonna do some donations as well um, later after after the session with Rick. So we'll be doing that. Now, how does the game work? Let me quickly explain how this works. I'm just gonna hop in on this guy's server real quick so I can explain. Now, I haven't played the game much. Uh, we're gonna be figuring it out with Rick on stream, kind of together. But um, <clears throat> oh, there it is, kids relief. Okay, so how it works is in the game there are three teams. Okay, there are three teams in the game. We've got. Is, did they put my bald at? Oh my god, they put my bald avatar, dude, bro. They put. <laughs> they got my bald avatar up there, dude. Oh my god. Okay, so the okay, so we got three teams in the game. We have Ibella, we have Creecraft, and we have the Gito plays. Okay, now, what you're gonna do? You're gonna go in the game. You're gonna come over here. You're gonna choose a team. You're gonna select me. Uh, select me. Join Team Creecraft. Um, I think you have to you have to have either 5,000 in-game uh, coins there or 50 Robux. Uh, just play the game, get your 5,000 coins, join the team. There, I'm just going to go and do it like that. There we go. And so here it is. So you can then contribute right here and then all throughout the game. Like, you know, if you buy something in the game, it all goes towards that too. But the team with the most amount of Robux at the end of the seven days, at the end of the timer... All the people on that team are going to get an exclusive Roblox UGC item that you can wear on your avatars that nobody else will have. Um, you're you're going to be the only people in all of Roblox with the item. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to donate a bunch real quick. Um, don't worry, I will make sure we win. Okay, I'm just going to donate. Like, uh, how much should I donate? <laughs> how much Roblox should I donate? They should give me a one million option. Just just throw it in there, pack it in. There it is. But um, anyway, that's how that works there. Okay. That's how that works there. Now, as for how the game works, we're going to be figuring that out. Jack Black is in the game. This is Jack Black. Um, this is indeed Jack Black. He does have voice acting in the game. Um, actually crazy. They got the, the, literally Bowser from Mario in the game. Pretty wild. Let me also, while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and just buy all of this too. I mean, it goes to charity, right? So why not? Let me just go and buy it. I'm just gonna buy all this there we go there we go and then we're going to uh we're gonna get ready we got five minutes boys here we go all right go ahead and buy all this there it is there we go buy this i'll get i know yeah kung fu panda i forgot jack black is kung fu panda yeah yep 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 he's um he's he did voice acting for the game as well so whenever you join in you'll hear you'll hear mr jack black as well that's uh pretty pretty crazy all right so there it is right there okay all right, there we go. So let me also make sure I don't leak the uh, the link. Uh, that would be <laughs> that would be bad if I leaked it. Let me not do that real quick. Let me do that. Okay, you guys can't see the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on in to the uh, to the game here. And there it is. There it is. You guys can't see that. Okay. Hop on into the private server. Let me get a link to the game as well. I'll put that at the top of the chat for you guys. There it is. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. That loaded. There it is. Okay. We didn't leak the link. That's great. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Let me put this at the top of the chat. Uh, Charity Roblox game. There it is. Okay. So that right there, it's going to be at the top of the chat. It's pinned. There it is. All right, boys. We got four minutes. Are you guys ready for this? Four minutes to go, man. Four minutes to go. All right. You saw it? Nah, you didn't see it. It's at the top of the chat. Charity Roblox game. There's the link right there. There it is. There it is. There it is. Should see it right on up there. If it's not there yet, give it a few seconds. It should pop up. But um, yeah, man. All right. Four minutes to go, boys. Also, let me ask. Um, Let's get the volume here in game good. Uh, is that is that good? The volume in game? I don't want to be too loud. I want you to be able to hear uh, Rick and I um let me know if that's good there that that should hopefully 
hopefully be good. All right, yeah, that should be good. Okay, all right, yes, yes, good. Okay, all right, sounds uh sounds good to me. Okay, all right, man, I'm so nervous, guys. You have no idea. Like, I can't believe this is happening. Oh man, <laughs> after this, I'm gonna be like, oh man. All right, all right, all right. We got three minutes. Three minutes, boys. Three minutes to go. Three minutes to go. You know the rules. It's under one. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, I don't want to scare him off with my awful singing. My 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 terrible singing. He, he he's gonna hear me singing. He's like, nope. <laughs> don't worry. We're not we're not we're not doing a sing along. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. Your ears are safe, guys. Your ears are safe. All right. Is that the Rick Roll guy? It is the Rick Roll guy. Yeah. Yeah, man. Pretty pretty crazy. What are people saying on Twitter? The legend of the Rick Roll. Yeah, dude. Please tweet the donate link. I'll, I'll do that at the uh, end whenever I do the donation. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's actually a good idea. We can do that for sure. All right, I'll tweet the game link and also the the uh, the donation link. We'll do both. Don't let me forget. Game link and and uh, donation link in the tweet at the end. Okay. All right, boys. All right. Yeah, you guys are all singing it now, man. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, dude. This is crazy. Okay. All right. We got two minutes, boys. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. Woo, man. I'm so nervous. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, you guys are hyped. I'm hyped. <laughs> Gonna be good, man. Gonna be good. Vote for Creek Rap. Yeah, yeah. Team Creek Rap in the game. If we get number one, then... um. You guys all get an exclusive UGC item, which is uh, really cool. I wish it showed how much, um, how much it show, uh, how much the team's at right now. But I'm sure we'll get up there. I'm sure we'll get up there. No worries. All right, all right. We got one minute. Let's go ahead and um, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay, guys. The title is not clickbait. It's actually happening. All right. In, in a few seconds, we are going to call the rick astley live on stream all right we're gonna be playing some roblox doing a charity event kids relief comic relief raising some money for charity it's gonna be awesome i'll have a link at the top of the chat if you're watching this live or if you're watching the video it'll be in the description and um you guys want to do it are you guys ready you guys ready you guys ready to call rick oh man all right let me dm him right now all right uh hey hey are you ready to ready to go? I'll just say hey hey. I'll just say hey hey. Ready when you are. There it is. Oh he oh he he responded. Okay. All right, let's do it. Here we go, boys. I'm calling him. Here we go. This is it. Oh hi. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Let me get you on screen yeah, very here. Good. Awesome. There we go. All right. I'm putting you on the screen. There it is. Let me make you full screen here. There we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hold on one second. Doing? I'm doing great. Let me turn you up a little bit. All right. That should, that should be good. I'm doing cool. fantastic. Oh man, this is, I gotta say, this is such an honor, man. Like you have no idea. You are a, a legend and this is crazy. I, I know absolutely insane. So thank you. Thank you for doing this. This is awesome. No, it's my, my absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's my chat's going crazy. They're like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, I think I, um, I think the link that I sent you on Discord that should, should still work. So you should be able to hop in through that. Okay, just give me one second. Yeah, no um, worries. Just got to jump into a link, Pete. Yeah. I think, yeah. No worries. I've got, I've got um, a good friend of mine helping me here because I have no idea what <laughs> we're doing right now. <laughs> no worries, man. No worries. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a whole new world to me, to be honest. The whole thing with Roblox and what have you is not something I'm, I'm very used to. But I'm very happy to be here and very happy to join in. But uh, yeah, it's kind of new to me, to say the least. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of like a new frontier. Uh... You know, hopping in for the first time, it's all good. We'll have yeah. some have some fun with it. Are you are you a big gamer at all? I used to be. I used oh, to really? be. I haven't. I haven't. Yeah. I, I mean, well, well, I'm going back some time. I'm going back to my favorite of all time was a game called GoldenEye. It was a James Bond. Yeah. Um, 
And uh, I mean, man, that game was amazing. I mean, I spent, I burnt a lot of hours doing that. Um, I'm trying to think what else I used to play. I used to play Doom back in the day, oh, like yeah. when it was like really primitive. And I used to have my speakers in my studio. I had a really great studio at the time. I had these massive speakers. And I used to frighten myself to death because I'd be playing Doom and then all of a sudden the speakers are kicking really <laughs> loud with a monster or what have you. Yeah, the so, heavy but I, I haven't. Oh, yeah, but I haven't, been a, I haven't really been much of a gamer for a long time, to be honest. I think partly because I've just got to an age where, and listen, it's not an age thing always, but I've got to an age where when I play with people like my godson when he was a bit younger and stuff, and they just completely annihilated me within seconds. And it takes, you know what I mean? It takes the fun out of it when your grandpa trying to play. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. So, um, yeah. That, but, um, that happens to yeah. me every day. I come on here and I get annihilated by eight-year-olds, and then they make fun of me in the <laughs> chat. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Super cool. So what are we doing here? I can see yeah. myself there right now, and I can see I can see you. Obviously, you're looking very dapper there in your. I'd have to say that's a pretty good Rick Roll outfit you've got on there. To be Thank honest, the stripy T-shirt, the the blazer looks good, the chinos, the hair, the microphone, everything's pretty Thank cool. Thank you. It, it is it is iconic. I had to, had to dress up for the occasion. Love it. But um yeah, so we're gonna be figuring out this game together. I played it a little bit uh, a little bit earlier with your yep. friend, I think, but um yeah essentially how it works is you got a little pet right there um i think it's sure pet. yeah and so if you come over here um you, you're just gonna click on these little items and your pet should go yep. and kind of like eat it i guess <laughs> is the word right okay so i think what we need to do if i seem to remember right don't i have to i gotta click on that with the mouse yep. and then my pet is good yeah there we go and then he's eating it there and we go that boom should disappear and you should get some hey money there i think there you go love it love it love round it. of applause okay, moving on oh he's becoming a, a pro gamer this is the start here we go my word <laughs> so uh on the right hand of your screen you should see i think diamonds yeah. and then honestly i don't know what that second icon is i think it looks like a bean um and uh how many of those do you have i have uh 3139 diamonds i got 87.5 beam beans okay so let's just keep um Clearing out some of the uh, the items okay, here on the just, ground. And then once we okay, get 2,000, we can unlock the next area here. Okay, 2,000 beans is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, got it. I really hope that's beans. The developers are like, that's not beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not beans, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I got to ask, too, while you're, while you're on here. Uh, yeah, would you sure. ever be down to do, like, a Roblox concert one day? I mean, listen, it, what's really kind of crazy about that is that if you would have said that to me even a couple of years ago, I would have said, what are you talking about? <laughs> but I think the whole thing with the internet and music and streaming and people being in another world, as it were, but obviously it is the, it, well, I say another world, it's the real world to a lot of people because they're in it right now, yeah. do you know what I mean? But it's, yeah, so it, the short answer to that is yes, because I, I, I think things are changing and times are changing and... You want to play to an audience. I also think COVID changed everything for oh, everybody yeah. in terms of what a gig was. You know, so many people did online stuff for that. And um, yeah, so I think I think there's going to be a time in the future when kids, you know, are obviously something like Roblox where they're developing the games themselves and doing all that and everything. And they're going to just get in touch with artists and saying, come and play. They're going yeah. to be promoters soon. Do you know what I mean? For sure. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. Well, I Roblox, if you're watching the stream, you heard the man. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Let's make it happen. That would be that would be probably the biggest thing in Roblox. That'd be crazy, man. How much? Uh, I think I've got two thousand six hundred right now. How did you do that? I've got I've got nine twenty two at the moment, so I'm way behind. Nine twenty three. I'm gonna say. Oh, uh, gonna try hitting the uh, the chest here. I think these drop the the beans. The other ones drop diamonds. I think maybe that's it. Ah, right. Okay. So I'm not okay. I got you now. I got you. There we go. That I've got 3,000 something diamonds, but, um, okay. Yeah. yeah. No worries. No so worries. I need, I need 2000 beans. Do I to get through there? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Awesome. I, I know so whereabouts are you oh, in sorry, America? Do you, uh, uh, whereabouts are you in America then? Or yeah. do you don't want to tell us where you are. I'm in, uh, I'm in Pittsburgh. I live in Pittsburgh. Ah, okay. Cause I kind of thought that was the case. And, uh, yeah, I was in Pittsburgh last year. Actually, we was on tour. Um, oh, and uh, yeah, we had a yeah. It's kind of. I should have went, man. I, I didn't know. <laughs> well, there you go. Next time. Next no, time. I've been really, really lucky. I think over the years to travel to a lot of different parts of the world, obviously, and yeah, sometimes you kind of. 
I don't know, as a kid, you just kind of, you know the names of so many time, towns around, especially in America and stuff. We grew up a lot watching it on TV and stuff. Yeah. And then you find yourself, then you're talking to somebody in America thinking, well, whereabouts are you? You know, but um, yeah, so. Yeah, from Florida, grew up there and then and moved to moved to Pittsburgh. Oh, wow, that's, yeah. a, diff that's a different, that's a changing <laughs> climate right there. Yeah, I, the last year I was in Florida, it was, I think, like 86 degrees on Christmas. So, um, you know, wearing wow. shorts. okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Moved Slightly up here, it's Pittsburgh. snow everywhere, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm really slow, man. I've got like, I've, I've just gone up to 988 at the moment. It's going to take me forever to get these beans. Oh, really? Uh, also, I just realized, I think it's gold. <laughs> ah, okay. That makes a little gold. bit more ah. sense than beans. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, the golden beans, let's call them that. Yeah. I wonder... Okay, uh... I'm just popping over. Yeah, I've got 1,001 beans right now. Okay, all right. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. I wonder why I'm getting them so much faster. What in the world? Yeah, I don't know. Well, because you probably play this type of game every day of your life, and I do it once in a blue moon. But yeah, that, we'll see. that may be. I just, I, I, I do sit here a lot. This is, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I went outside for the first time in like a few months the other day. It was, it was a magical experience. <laughs> so do you find, yeah, it's interesting, you see, if you play a lot of games and you're online a lot, I mean, I use computers a lot. I use them with work a lot and obviously just generally speaking, but I don't game a lot, like I say, anymore. Yeah. So do you find, oh, something just happened because I've just gone 2,000 beans oh. or gold. Well, great. Yeah. Well, I guess we can... 2,052. Right, where are we going now then? I think if you uh, go right here and hit E on the little barrier, it should unlock the, the next area, I think. And then you'll hear Jack Black uh, talk. Do you want to remove the barrier and explore further? Yes, I do. Yeah. Awesome. I think I think I think he's in. We did it. Cool. Great. Okay. So what did Jack Black want us to do? I missed that. Uh, I actually don't know. Um, I think what we, <laughs> <laughs> I think what we, uh, okay. what we should do next is, I think we can get oh. more pets. Let me actually go to these machines here. Okay. Um, yeah. So for a hundred gold, you can. Press E on this little machine and get a get some more pets. I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I need to see where you are, really. Oh, I'm I'm right here. I'm jumping. Hang on a second. Let me find you. Oh wait, where? Oh, we, lo we know, lost. Oh, lost I, see you. I see you. I see you. There. You are. Uh, I'm. Oh, right. there. I've got it. I've got yeah, you. Yeah. I've got you. So now, now I've got a bunch how, of pets how I, here. How could I miss that quiff and that outfit? <laughs> Ah, so you've got a lot of pets then. How did you get all the pets? Yeah, so if you go up here and press E on this, I think you can ah, buy okay. more. Okay. And then ah, okay. you'll break okay. stuff faster. Okay. Yeah. Okay, mine doesn't want to go E for a minute. There we go. Okay. Uh, I wonder why mine doesn't want to do that. Oh, I do. Oh, you don't. I don't. I need more solar beans. Oh, I'm only at 70 foot, so I've got to earn more beans again oh, right now. Oh, okay. All right, here. Uh, we'll just break a few things, and then you should have enough. Should have enough. Yeah, just get up to a hundred, and then you'll you'll be able to get a little bit more there. Okay. <laughs> Chat, I'm not I'm not gonna Rick roll Rick Astley himself. <laughs> do it, do it, man. <laughs> nah, nah, I I wouldn't even know where to begin. <laughs> no, believe me, I I've had a lot of amazing moments because of Rick rolling that whole thing, and it's been. It's been amazing, to be honest. It's been a kind of a crazy adventure seeing what people do with that song and different things. Yeah. But I also still, to this very day, do not understand it. So, um, yeah, you know, it's it's you know? it's crazy because when I was 12 years old, like I was in middle school, it was so popular. Your friend would send you a right. link and then bam, Rick Roll, you know, gotcha. Yeah, sure. It, it's still a thing. It's crazy. People love it. it, it I, I think also it's just it it's somehow, you know, by the grace of god whatever it's managed to sort of find its own little spot on the internet that song and it's kind of been amazing for that reason you know obviously people of a certain age might remember the song from when it was released and when yeah. i was out there promoting it all those years ago many 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 moons ago but that's the one of the amazing things about the internet it's it's given life to so many different things like even old movies and stuff and old tv shows that people love and and some of the new tv shows have got music from a different era you know like let's say i don't know i mean take your pick there's loads of them where they kind of like the kate bush song and what have you that oh, got yeah. a reinvention last year you know through stranger things and stuff and it's pretty amazing i think really i don't i don't think when most artists are uh, there you go i've got something happening there now oh awesome oh Boom. yeah there you go cool all right what are we doing Where oh I, I and then i think we can move on to this next right. area and uh okay 
Jack Black wants us to go over here. Let me let me go see what cool. Jack Black wants well, me whatever, to do. Whatever Jack, whatever Jack wants, Jack gets. I know, Simple right? <laughs> we'll need to fix the oh, so you can fuse to pets together, fuse I think. Oh. Is that what you I'm do? I'm fusing. You're at risk of losing your crew members. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh, I see. I can. Does that mean I can fuse with your pets? My pets can fuse with yours? Is that right? Maybe. I actually I don't know. Don't know. No, I don't know. I'm being told I can fuse. I'm going to fuse. I'm going okay, crazy. Okay, go for it. Confirm. He's going for it, guys. I've just, you know what I mean? Just yeah. nuts here. I think how it works uh, is you have like a chance of like getting like a, a fused, better, stronger pet, but you may lose right. a pet, kind of like a chance thing, but. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to fuse, but I've, it says no percent. So maybe I have to wait till I've got, you know what? I'm going out. I'm going for more gold. I think. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's there we go. Yeah. Man, we need 4,500 for the next area. That's crazy. Man, what's going on with these people? <laughs> I know. On. They should have gave us, like, cheat codes or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you like the, uh, you know, like, you've kind of, like, taken everything in with, like, the Rick Roll stuff. It's it's cool to see. Well, I didn't I didn't have any choice, to be honest, either. You know what I mean? That, yeah. That's, that's one of, again, one of the wonderful things about, you know, the internet. I mean, I'm talking like a granddad here. I'm not a granddad <laughs> yet, by the way, but... um. Um, is that it's in the hands. I mean, look what we're doing right now. We're playing a game that somebody built specifically to go on to Roblox. And do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like we're living in different times in a different world. So you can either kind of, you know, you can either kind of fight it or you can just just let it be and just try and see the funny side of things sometimes. You know what For I mean? Sure. So. Yeah. And actually on your topic of like, you know, like memes like this kind of leading to other stuff. I remember, uh, I think it was a few years ago. You, I think you did like a comeback tour or something like that, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I've done, I mean, it's it, the whole thing is so weird now. If you go on a streaming service to listen to music, and even if you may have made a brand new record recently, your old stuff is still at the top of everyone. Pretty much, you know what I mean? Yeah. May, maybe Ed, Ed Sheeran, it might be a little bit different, but I doubt it. If you go in his top 10, a lot of the songs are going to be ones that he did 10 years ago. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's kind of, it, I just think people now don't necessarily uh, listen and view music in the same way. And so I think people's, they're a bit broader in every experience of life. You know what I mean? There's sure. more to go at in life. And so people, I don't know. I don't know what I'm waffling on about actually, but I'm just trying to say that I think things things have changed and they've certainly changed for me. And it's just nice that, you know, a song from 30 something years ago gets a chance to be heard again, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It, it, it's even led me to like your other music. I was listening to the other, like all your other stuff. And it's like, you're you're a good singer. Like, uh, you know, it's, thank you, man. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, but it's, it's. It, I, I also don't fool myself. I know that that song in particular, Never Gonna Give You Up, is just like an anomaly. It's just some weird yeah. kind of and and i like i say i can see the funny side of it and i can i can be grateful about it and just say well you know what i'll just i will forgive the pun but i will roll with it and just you know <laughs> see what happens so yeah it's put me in some good spots so i can't complain really yeah that's awesome i'm, I'm, I'm glad i have so many diamonds right now at eleven thousand, but i only have like three thousand gold okay, hey see so you're, you're completely oh wait they said use the reward boost uh okay where what is that? Hey, chat, what's a... Re oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Okay, so you see your bag at the bottom? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah if yeah, you yeah. click that and go to the star, oh, yeah. do you have anything there unlocked? I don't know. Premium shop, battle pass. I think it's the battle pass. At the top, it should right. be like tier one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tier one claim. Claim that, maybe? I just claimed that and I got like 54,000 gold. Ah, yeah, I just got a big chunk of gold myself right there. Okay, great. Cool. Okay. There we go. We're learning. Crazy. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Awesome. I did not know that was there. How much gold do you have now? Uh, 1,164. Okay. All right. Let me. So, what do we need? 2,000 still. I think we need 4,500 for the next one. So, oh, it's going to. I don't know. Okay. It's going to be a little bit. <laughs> 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 Stay tuned to the next episode, guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, get your sleeping bags, everybody. Yes. Um. <laughs> All right, there we go. I was looking oh, to nice see if there. I could just buy Which us to the next area, but I don't think that's a. Uh... <laughs> no. Okay. Um, that's fine. I'm I'm enjoying uh, breaking some chests and chatting. It's uh, it's good. 
there we go so what is your i mean do you what is your favorite thing on roblox then i mean i not that i would know what it was even if you yeah. tell me what it is but what is it yeah uh you know it's this is kind of a cheesy answer but i guess kind of like the the community like there's a lot of like fun games and right. like fun stuff out there but like yeah. the community is like so active and like engaged and there's always something new popping yeah. up and going on so it's like there's never really like a boring moment or anything like that you know yeah it's really really exciting especially ever since um you know the the covid and pandemic and stuff everything's just kind of taken like everything to a whole nother level so um yeah crazy there we go what was it like actually because like for for me you know during during you know lockdown and everything i was just kind of sitting here playing games all day but like were you still yeah, able well, to like, do I, stuff i have a little studio at home and i kind of buried myself in there quite yeah. a lot to be honest um we were really lucky as well because we've got a big back garden and you know we, you know some people were stuck in an apartment and what have you and maybe even with young kids and stuff and all that so it, you know that must have been really tough and we were super lucky i think but i i mean I think, to be honest, the main thing, it was just the mental thing of watching TV and hearing all the kind of terrible things right, that were going yeah. on for certain people and stuff. And so you just had to try and, I don't know, really, just had to try and focus on something that would take your mind off it a little bit sometimes. But it's, yeah, I mean, and again, what's really weird about human nature and the human spirit is we're kind of all going about life now. Not everybody, obviously, I know that, but a lot of people are kind of just back to their normal routine and back to their, which is never going to be completely normal again because it was horrific and a lot of people really, truly suffered and, you know, you know, but it, but I, I don't know, it's such a strange thing that, you know, human nature is that you bounce back from things and you just get on with whatever the perceived next normality is, you know, it's, For sure, it's yeah. weird sometimes you sort of close your eyes and you think, did that happen? Do you know what I mean? Well, of course it happened. And, you know, like I say, a lot of people really, stuffing through it there's no, no doubt about that but i think for a lot of people it was you know it's almost like we're just getting on with life again you know yeah. it's just kind of weird to think about picking it, it so. back up getting back on the yeah, yeah. swing of things yeah, yeah. yeah. also I, I saw this question in the chat i'm kind of curious if sure if you had to pick uh like top music artists or top songs what, what's some of your favorite Oh, like i guess oh, beats wow. to listen to <laughs> you, can, um, you can go i mean uh, anything really old school new school whatever yeah well there's going to be quite a bit of old school going on um i mean i i grew up listening to a lot of black american r&b and soul music not not all of that but i mean even going back way to motown and and you know some of the guys who i love a guy called luther van dross who's possibly my favorite singer of all time um uh I mean, the thing is, I kind of pinched so much in the way I sing from a lot of soul singers from America that I have a kind of like, there's just something about the way somebody sings like R&B and soul that just floats my boat, you know, but yeah. I like everything. I used to play drums as a kid oh, okay. and I was in bands at school and we, we played probably more heavier rock stuff than that just because the punk thing had just happened and what have you and, and that was something that anyone could get in a garage and play if you know what i mean right, you could emulate yeah. what was on the records that were the hits at the moment and um so i still like going back to that little bit i have a midlife crisis rock band with two friends of mine <laughs> and uh, we only do gigs for charity and we only play punk stuff really oh and, that's um, cool so i love doing that yeah but I, I think from a vocal perspective i think a lot of soul like classic soul is what i really love to listen to somebody like bill withers or al green as well I'm probably naming some people that people are going who at the moment. Check them out. If you don't know who they are, check them out. Okay. Um, but I do like new stuff when I, you know, there's certain things that I like that, that come along and I love, I seem to end up loving everything the weekend does. I don't, yeah. I don't know what that dude. And, and I also think, you know, someone like Bruno Mars has done some amazing stuff over the years and I'm not exactly very left field in my music choice. I kind of like popular music, you know? And, yeah. um, but I like a bit of everything. I just literally like a bit of everything. Um, and I think, like I say, I'm still kind of devoted to drummers and drumming. And if there's a band with a great drummer in it, I tend to gravitate towards that a little bit as well, you know, so. But I like a bit of everything, really. That's cool, yeah, that's good. I've been I've been trying to expand my, my music taste from video game music to, <laughs> you know, like other music. <laughs> okay. I'm getting the car with like my fiance. What do you want to listen to? A Mario theme song, you know? <laughs> right, okay. 
So what about your fiance then? Does she, what, what's, yeah. what's her thing? She then? she's kind of like you, just like a lot of you know like more popular, you know, just kind of like anything right. really. Me, yeah. you can throw on a video game soundtrack. You know, I'll, I'll barrel down the road to the Doom soundtrack. That's cool. Let's do it. You know. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe yeah. you need to get out more, man. I think you're right. I think you're right. She's in the other room, definitely agreeing with you right now, for sure. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, you know, there's so much in the world today going on. I mean, look what we're doing right this second. And I mean, when I was 14, 15, 16, all I wanted to do was play drums in a band and go to gigs. Yeah. And I think the options now for teenagers to do so many other things and so many things that are literally going into a different world like this like we're doing right now that didn't even exist when i was a teenager you know what i mean so yeah. there was primi primitive very primitive what we used to call space invader games which would be you know what i mean and you can't even compare them really and so i just think the world is changing what what people want from entertainment and music's still a huge part of that but it is just a part of it now i think you know what i mean yeah and, yeah so Awesome. I, I wanted to ask too. Um, I, I think uh, I think your friend mentioned. Like, I I don't want to keep you too long. Um, I'm good. I'm all good. You're I've all got to good. Get two thousand. No, four and a, four and a half thousand ain't gonna happen, man. I'm telling you, I'm still at fifteen hundred <laughs> right now. This is just awesome. Okay. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. But yeah, yeah I, I'm enjoying this. It's great. That's what we need. Everyone in the chat is still freaking out. <laughs> Well, if anybody wants to ask me something, you're more sure, than welcome yeah, let's, to chip in. Let's do a little little Q and A thing. We can do that. Ask ask some questions. Let's see what we got. Um, let's see. Aaron Gladden, my son is a super fan and is so happy to see Rick on here. My son Andrew says hi. Hey, Andrew, how you doing? Let's see what we got here. I I did ask him about the Roblox uh, uh concert. He said he's definitely down, guys. That would be yeah. I'm up for that. I'm that up would for be that cool. For sure. Oh, that's as long as, a... you, as long as you'll style me, though, by the way, Let's, we'll make it happen. We'll Greg, make... You have to do the, the clothes styling of me. You know what I mean? You have to give me a nice outfit. to wear. We will make that happen. hundred percent. You name it. You got it. We had an interesting question. Here. What's your do, do you have like a, a favorite song of yours besides, uh, you know, like Rick Roll or something? I think the thing for me is obviously I get different emotions out of singing different songs. I've got a song called Cry for Help that, that um, we recorded a yeah. long, long time ago. And it's got a choir on it and the recording of that song was pretty amazing because uh, you know i i wrote with a friend of mine we wrote a pop song and then when you put a choir on it and because of the nature of the lyrics and stuff it takes on a whole different meaning really and it kind of just has a bit more depth to it so there's times when i sing that and i get a little bit emotional about that um but the main thing to be honest i think is just I'm pretty stunned and amazed that I actually get to go and do gigs anyway, because I'm 57 years old. That's so, not you know, I wasn't, I, wa I wasn't expecting, no, but I wasn't expecting to be necessarily, you know, still playing live and stuff and, and that there would be anybody out there who'd be interested in, in, in me and me do it. And that's not false modesty. That's just reality, you know? Yeah. Um, so I kind of, I get pretty emotional doing any kind of gigs. I get emotional watching cat videos these days. You know what I mean? <laughs> so singing to people is, um, you know yeah it's kind of uh so yeah i i just like i just like to get the opportunity to do it full stop it's pretty cool for sure okay let's see what else we got here uh ooh, favorite favorite tv shows oh man that's just endless <laughs> that is endless okay let's say, let's um, say first one that comes to mind well, I loved Stranger Things, to yeah. be honest. Uh, okay. um, and funny enough, funny enough, we were on tour when I actually finished the last series and stuff. And so I was kind of like getting onto the tour bus every night. Boom, click that in straight away. <laughs> um, and um, I think there's a lot of things about that show that I really loved. I mean, the writing's great. The, the, you know, the, the direction, obviously, all the people in it, the actors, the, the, the kind of theme of it all. It's just really cool because it's sort of it sort of takes you back to a totally different era for me it does you know what i mean there's a, yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of memories in it for me that get evoked by the style of it and everything and it's but i also think it's i think it was one of those shows that really bonded people you you're you're either in or you're not with that that show do you know what i mean yeah. and and there's obviously been a lot of shows like that i guess you could say all shows are but like something like that or even going to game of thrones or something you're either a fan of that or you're not you yeah. know what i mean and and it, I kind of love that about TV shows. It's kind of, it, it, it's it's a very big club to be part of, but it is a club. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. guess it's the same with video games as well. You're either into one or you're not. And 
so yeah i did like stranger things um i love modern family um, oh, okay. that is one of my all-time favorites i've just started re-watching it actually and it's kind of it's pretty funny to re-watch it actually because you know going back to when all the kids were really young and stuff um I love Shit's Creek as well. I thought that was absolutely amazing. I don't know whether you watched that, but that I just really I've heard loved of it, that. but I don't think I've seen oh, it. Oh man, it's worth a watch. That is, I'm telling you. Um, you yeah, the I mean, endorsement. That's good for me. I think the thing is as well, television and movies. There was a massive separation uh, back in the day, and I think today the quality level of TV is just as good as movies sometimes. Oh yeah. Um, and and I think. Obviously, the budgets and, you know, because of the way streaming's taken off so massively and everything, it, it's 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 just changed the way we perceive television and what have you. And I think the actors that you used to be able to get to do television, um, you know, were, was a bit more limited because they all wanted to be in movies. Whereas now, some of the biggest actors in the world are desperate to do TV shows because they know how good they are, you know. So it's, it's really changed things up a little bit, I think. Yeah, like the, you know, streaming platforms, Disney. You look at, like, Mandalorian, yeah, yeah. Star Wars, stuff like that. And, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, I loved Mandalorian as well, actually. In fact, I still haven't seen Series 3. Is Series 3 only just come out, or has it been out a while? I don't know. No, it's it's airing right now every, like... It's airing right now, I think right it's, like, now, halfway okay. through the season, yeah. Okay, yeah. right, okay. I, I'm, like, two... Ep I'm, well, actually, I'm, yeah, I'm, like, two episodes behind. I gotta, I gotta well, catch it, up it, myself. It, but again, I struggle a bit now. When when something's not out and you can watch all of it and just binge it over a weekend, I struggle because I'm so used to doing that now. I oh, think, yeah. what, it's not all out. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait till it, you know, like Succession, I don't know about in America, but in the UK for sure, it's only just out now, like kind of thing, and you watch an episode a week. And I'm like, I can't do that. I have to wait till it's all come out because it'll, you know. That's, um, that's what I love about Stranger Things. Like one of my favorite things to do, I just get like, two boxes of pizza whole day nothing but sitting there watching stranger things and eating pizza so yeah, good yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so i'm so fun. slow on this game man we're gonna be here all night <laughs> no worries. i promised to take my wife out for dinner as well so i don't know how long i can be here yeah, right now, no, no we'll worries uh, sorry wife we're we're getting some golden roblox <laughs> yes yeah, i don't think that's gonna do it to be honest <laughs> <laughs> yeah no worries man no worries yeah when, whenever you know if you got a balance no worries man um let's see what else we got here <laughs> have you ever rick rolled your family <laughs> uh no is the answer to that i think i think i know what door that i would be walking through if, they, <laughs> if i did that um you'd be sleeping our on the daughter, couch, guys well we, we have one one child our daughter and she's 31 now and when rick rolling all started and that whole thing and everything she was you know she was a teenager mid yeah. to late teens and her grasp of the situation was far better than mine and she kind of literally sat me down one day and said, you do realize it, it's not, it's not really about you. And I'm like, what do you mean it's not about me? I'm the guy in the video. I'm the Rick in Rick rolling. And she said, yeah, it's not really about you. Don't, don't take it, you know, too personally. Don't take it. Don't, don't embrace it too hard. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. what have you. And I just thought, wow, man, it, it, it was a real lesson. I think it really taught me something that. She is the internet generation. She grew up with the internet, obviously, with the first generation, probably of like fully, full on right. internet. You yeah. Know? And so, and she, you know, used to, she used to play Sims a lot and different oh, games yeah. and stuff. And um, and I don't know. I just think it was it was it was it was really beneficial to get someone who really understood me and knew me, you know, like my own daughter, to just set me right and put me right on the Rick rolling thing and say, look, just don't, just chill out. You know, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. It's not. You know, and I think that was really healthy advice, you know, so. Yeah, it's, it's a fun thing for sure. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one. Favorite foods. Oh, man. <laughs> I've been so lucky, like I say, to travel. You know, literally, I've been right around the world a few oh, times yeah. here, there and everywhere. And uh, Japanese food is one of my favorite. Okay. Um, I love Italian food of any kind. Oh, me as too. Well. Pasta? Um, so, oh, I'm there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's always a, a, a difficult one i think really and i think i guess that i guess the thing is when you're traveling it's not really work doing concerts but it does take some effort let's say that you know what i mean it takes oh, yeah. it out of your kind of thing food becomes like a massive priority <laughs> um because you just want to eat well do you know what i mean and yeah. also when you are traveling a lot you kind of think to yourself well i don't know when we're going to get the chance to go somewhere really nice so when we do get a chance to go eat something i really want to eat i go for it so um I think Japanese food is a big, big one. Okay. Uh, my wife loves that as well. Um, but yeah, I love Italian food, so I could pretty 
Italian almost every day, I think. And in fact, if you could see my belly right now, you'd probably attest to the fact <laughs> that I probably do eat it every day. But... Yeah, I yeah. love if I could eat pasta, like a whole refrigerator full of pasta, I'd, I'd yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so good. Let's see. Um, oh, man, we've got some good questions. Uh, let's see here. Um, I can't Do believe you... this, man. I'm still up to 2,000. I've just gone over 2,000 points. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't wrong. know what I'm, I'm doing gonna, differently. I'm, I'm at 62,000. No, I've got nothing in the bag. No, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just running around doing this, but I'm obviously not doing it very well. I wonder if it's because I have more pets. Maybe that's it. Like, I get more pets. Get well, more I've only got two pets, so I don't know how I ended, ended up with Maybe two. Maybe if you buy you more go. pets, it, like, ah, right, okay. increases or something. Maybe we'll do that. Well, you know what? I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing right now. Cause, sure. Like I said, the one thing I'm buying tonight is dinner for my wife, so I'm, I won't be here for too much longer anyway. <laughs> yeah. What's, uh... What's your favorite hobbies? Just kind of like chilling, doing stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I love watching movies. I know that's not a, not a hobby exactly, but my wife works in film as well, and, oh, and that's cool. it's something we both we both share. And I'm one of those people who can can watch old movies over and over again, which might sound a bit sad, but I really like it. I, I think I still get something from different movies that I really love. Do you know what I mean? And rewatching yeah. them and stuff. And again, going back to COVID, you know, I rewatched so many different movies. Um, I also love like historical movies, you know, when they're actually set in a certain time oh, right. and, the, and yeah. the actual factual content is pretty correct and stuff. I love all of that. And um, and in terms of hobbies, I mean, I don't know, I'm pretty boring. I love skiing. <laughs> don't get to oh, do it wow. that often, okay. but I love skiing. Yeah. I would love um, to try that. It sounds so scary, though. Well, you just, you know what? You need to maybe go with some friends who've done it before, who you trust, who aren't crazy. Yeah. Um, and also... Don't fool yourself. Go and get some lessons. Don't just go out there and say, oh, I'll manage. I'll work it out. You won't work it out. Go and have some lessons. Um, That's a good idea. But I've idea. been skiing since I was a teenager, and I, it's one of my... Yeah, I think it's always been a bit of a passion. I like being outdoors as well, and, you know, it ticks a lot of boxes in that respect. But to be honest, I love... The weird thing is, and I've, I've kind of said this a few times to different friends and what have you, different people studios now have become very much about working with a computer right and for me when i'm in my little studio at home and i'm doing a track and stuff i just do it because i like doing it it isn't like at the end result has to be a record i just like doing it if you know what i mean and i'm in there messing around with things and and for me i can sort of see the similarity of playing video games because you're in front of a screen and you have to achieve certain things to make something sound right. Yeah. And, you, and obviously there's the tactile nature of having hold of a guitar or singing or playing a bit of piano or something or what have you. Or, but it's it's become so linked to a computer recording now, for most people anyway, right. that it's it's not a million miles away, I think, in terms of like trying to get creative in how to tackle something. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Kind of like new takes on like old stuff kind of thing. Hmm. Very, very cool. But I also think, you know, the way they've done the graphics now on most um, software programs and stuff, they're, they're kind of enticing people in yeah. by the way they look. You know what I mean? It's not, I know it should be the way about the way things sound, but believe me, when you when you download something new, like to use in, in, in one of your programs or what have you, the way it looks is half the battle. You think, oh man, look at that. It looks amazing. I've got to, buy, I've got to get one of those. Yeah. You know, like a soft synth or what have you, or, you know, something that just looks funky and you just think, man, I've got to get one of them. And, um, yeah, yeah so I just, I love, I love being in the studio and just fiddling around with stuff, to be honest, doing that. So that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, that's cool that you have the little studio at your house, too. So you can kind of just like yeah. hop in and play around. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a weird question. What's your favorite type of hot dog? <laughs> what? Well, now then. Ah, here we go. Now. <laughs> So my wife is from Denmark. She's from Copenhagen oh. in Denmark. And in Denmark, in Denmark, something you have to do if you're in Denmark, and I do it every time I go, you have to go to the Pulsavalm, which is the sausage wagon. Oh. And they have they have hot dogs that looks like a hot dog you might find in anywhere in America, but like that classic American sort of let's say new york you know hot dog stand on a corner yeah they're a little bit different to that they're a little bit different but it is the same principle and there's certain ones in copenhagen and i know copenhagen quite well i've been there many times our daughter lives there there's certain ones that are the best ones okay and um so i love uh it's called a rasted pulsa rasted pulsa yeah i know it's I'm, I'm gonna clip that um, we're gonna write that down and I, i'll grab oh it. yeah 
and they have they have a thing called Synop, which is basically the um, that's like the mustard, but it's it's a, a very special kind of mustard, and they have a very special ketchup that goes with it, and they also have onions as well, and um, man, that is, and I'm, I've sometimes. I feel myself leaving Copenhagen thinking something is wrong and then I think I've not had a hot dog yet. So <laughs> as I'm leaving I have to find a hot dog stand, one of the good ones, and um and have a hot dog. So so that's yeah, I don't that know whether that makes any sense to anybody. But... To that question ever. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, no, it. you should win an award for that one. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh a few people in the chat saying they're from Denmark. They probably know oh, all really? about oh, that cool. then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's a big thing, man. It's it's a semi-religious experience having a hot dog in Denmark. It really is. Yeah. Wait, someone said there is apparently an island in real life that's named the Rick Roll Island. Is that real? Oh, really? Let me look that up. Know. Someone apparently bought an island and named it. Really? As in like a physical real island out somewhere in the real world? No, it's actually real. Yeah. Somebody bought an island and it is legally named Rick Rowland. This, uh, I mean, <laughs> Pete, who I'm with right now, has just found it. There's a Rick Roll museum. There's a Rick Roll flag. It's in the Bahamas. Okay. Wow. We've got to go to the Bahamas. We've got to check that out. That's crazy. That's great. Man. That's madness. You show up there, probably, like, we're going to roll out the, you know, Somebody's probably done probably done very well on crypto i think at this point go what should i do next i'll buy an island <laughs> yeah man that's crazy yeah just yeah what did you, what did you do there oh i bought an island and named it after yeah, rick astley island. yeah I just, you know. yeah i mean i mean who doesn't do that kind of thing yeah. normally yeah just casually listen i'm never going to get to four and a half thousand this time. i don't know why but it's just not going to happen no so worry i have to We've so got a couple more questions for me yeah, then, sure. Rick, well, and then maybe I'll bow out then. Sure, yeah, we can do, uh, we'll do like two more maybe, let's see. Um, okay, do you like pineapple on pizza? Oh man, that is such a, t you know what? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I'm going to have to embarrass myself and say I actually do. Oh, okay. But nobody, no, but nobody should, do you know what I mean? Okay. It should actually be, it should possibly be illegal, but it is actually quite good. It shouldn't be, but it is. I'm 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 too scared to try it. I gotta try it. I gotta try no, it. No, well, it, I don't think you. I don't. I don't know whether you should try it. If you've not already tried it, okay. Don't try it. It's it'll it'll probably ruin pizza for you for a few weeks. Do you know what I mean? So maybe you just need to. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. My my. my uh... I never order it. Let me let me answer oh, okay. it that way. I would I would never order it. But if someone's ordered a couple of pizzas or something, we're all having a slice. And I just pick one up and start eating it. And I think, that's got pineapple on it. There's no way I'm going to eat. And then I go, <laughs> mm, actually, that's pretty good. So, yeah, I would never order a pizza with pineapple on it. But, yeah. Okay. Maybe that's what you need to do. You may, you need to get a friend to order a pizza with pineapple on it. Okay. And then get them to get you to try it without you realizing, you know? Okay, yeah. Okay, good answer. Uh, I guess last question here. You mentioned movies a little bit earlier. Um, sure. Favorite movies? Oh man, I'm a sword and sandals kind of guy. I'm a, I like old movies. My all-time favorite, I've got a massive poster of it just on this wall here. It's a film called Spartacus. Oh, which is, okay. It's just, oh man. Um, and for so many reasons, it's an amazing movie. I actually think Kirk Douglas is incredible and everyone in that movie is amazing, but that's really old school. I'm going back really old Hollywood there. Yeah. Um, and uh, I really like Christopher Nolan as a director and pretty oh. much every movie he's ever made I really love. And Interstellar is my favorite some... movie of all time. Yeah, I mean, it sometimes takes me five watches to understand what the movie <laughs> is really about, <laughs> Interstellar being one of them. But, um, yeah, I mean, he, I think he's got a very interesting take on time. You know, what is time linear? What What is yeah. time? Where is it? How is it? And, and he does that in so many movies. And I even love... Um, the movie about the two magicians. I've just forgotten what it's called right now for some reason. The Prestige. Oh, okay. Um, that is a monster movie. If you've not seen that, you really need to. You need to get a pineapple pizza in. And watch get yourself Prestige. comfortable and watch that. Yeah. Will do. There it is. But yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you again. Like this is one of the craziest moments of my life. Can't believe I'm talking to you. Chat's loving it and. The Thank feeling you very is mutual, much, baby. Man. The feeling is mutual. No, listen, thanks for letting me into your world. I really appreciate it. For sure. I'm sorry I was so lame at playing the game, no, but there you go. You're all good, dude. You're all good. Yeah. No, it's good.
And uh, yeah, we're almost going to shake hands there. Oh, Here yeah, yeah. There you go. How about that'll, that? That'll do. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that'll do. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, enjoy. listen. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks for inviting me. Thank and, you. Uh, nice, nice to meet you, Creek. Love the outfit, like I say. Thank you. And uh, yeah, all the best to everyone watching and playing. Awesome. Thank you very much. Have a good night. I think it's Cheers. night there. So Thank you. Have a good night. It is. <laughs> Cheers. Thank all you. Right, bye. Bye-bye. Bye, man. Cheers. Bye. That was the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was crazy. Oh my god, that was crazy, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, we talked to like freaking Rick Astley, man. That's crazy.